Good evening, everybody. Can I interrupt the asking just a few minutes? Um, uh, welcome, family and friends. Um, diary readers, 200 diaries, any excuse for a party, I think. Um, so you're all very welcome. Delighted to come along. Um, I think, um, and by the way, the reason that we're filming this is not because we're getting very pompous and grand, but because um, the diary does get read in a lot of countries around the world, and there are a few people I would love to have come along this evening, except, you know, the private jet was being used to make it. Make it. So we're going to send them a little link of, of me being boring and then Gabriel playing the harp. Um, so really, it's been quite fun. Some of you came to the 100th party. Um, this is a bit bigger. Um, there are about 15,000 people now who read the diary or get it. Um, 25 countries um, this year has been opened. Um, when I wrote about the Spectator event last year, um, it got retweeted to 850,000. So it's all a bit of a buzz, really. And so it seemed an opportunity when I made it to 200 uh, to just have a few drinks. So that's the only real reason for this evening, nothing more. Um, so, when I first started writing, I sent the first one out to about 200 people, and somebody in the room um, said, and I said, I'm going to write one every week, and he said, no chance, mate. He said it more eloquently than that. But William's, here, <laughs> William's here this evening. William is a great climber, a uh, bit of a property expert, features in the, the big short, um, unfortunately, not in the bubble bath with a glass of champagne, but in the book. Um, anyway, so William, I did make, uh, I proved you wrong. Dancer's cap. Dancer's cap. Um, but, but I won't say very much because 180,000 words is a lot of things to say, so I'm, I'm, run, I'm not going to run out, but I certainly don't want to bore you with all of that this evening. What I would say, just for a moment, is that, that I, I've done investment for a long time. I guess these days I look at life through an investment lens, I can't help it. Um, and the writing of the diary is focused, it's, it's sharp and focused and all that. And so I've really enjoyed doing it. Um, it just makes me more aware of things that are around us, and it is pretty confusing. Um, the great thing about the internet is that it, it means that it's a two-way conversation, not just me sending out something into the, into the middle of nowhere and not getting any feedback. I get a lot of feedback, and it's really wonderful. It's, it's, it, the, the diary has become a currency of exchange. You know, it's not quite a cryptocurrency, but it's definitely barter. I tell you my views, and you tell me your views back, and that's been gold dust as far as investment management is concerned. And I can't say that I understand everything that's going on. I mean, I think the diary, I hope, lifts the bell a little bit for me and I hope for you on the world around us. But as a friend and reader said to me, the thing is, and she, she, she's a lot more sort of close, she's much closer to the centre of power than, than I am. Well, I'm not really near the centre of power, but she said, the people who know aren't talking and the people who talk don't know. And I think we are overwhelmed with people talking at us who know nothing. And I suspect that's the problem um, these days. Understanding what's going on when we're overwhelmed with information is just so difficult. So that's the diary bit. I think a few thank yous. I think firstly it's the Royal Academy for letting us into this um, suitably idiosyncratic room, which I think is, I hope you all think is, is, is a bit of fun. Um, uh, most of you I've asked haven't been here before, so that's a bit of a win. Um, Secondly, to my colleagues from Cortechinga who are here, who provide me with guidance, support, the infrastructure that allows me to get this thing out of the door, out of the door every, every Monday, almost Mondays. Particularly to Sophie Gorman, who's my editor, confidant, and um, this evening's party organiser, uh, so a new school. Uh, so thank you, Sophie, for all that you do um, in, in helping getting this done. Um, and I think I would say that's probably enough already to, to misquote more in the main character. Um, I want to introduce Gabriella Dorolio, who's going to play the part for us this evening, a couple of pieces. Um, those who read the diary reasonably regularly know that most of them are written at <coughs> Gabriella's kitchen table while she's giving my daughter a lesson. Um, uh, she's a head of heart at Trinity. She travels the world playing in many uh, prestigious uh, concert halls. Um, it says on her Wikipedia, her uh, 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 profile, that she's supported Tina Turner, Sting, and Elton John, amongst others. But, you know, so just a lower tone for a second. <laughs> <laughs> she's a brilliant teacher. Um, and very, those who pay, pay particular attention to the diary will know that, that we are in the presence of something unique. 
unique. This is the only white enemy harp in the world. And you're going to listen to Gabriel playing that now. Gabriel.
was a piece by Félix Godefroy, mm -hmm. Belgian composer, uh, contemporary of Chopin, probably least and many others. And uh, the harp is not exactly as the piano, so you've heard different sound words, but um, it was considered a mostly keyboard for a long time, and then uh, in the 19th century it started developing towards a new instrument, which is what it is. And so the second piece I'm going to play is written by um, a British composer called John Marston, who is not with us anymore, unfortunately, uh, but he's written this piece in the 90s and is another side of the harp, which is a little bit non-British because it uh, draws from South American rhythms and more the South American harp in traditions, but written for this instrument. So I hope you're going to enjoy it and it's called El Picaflor. Well, thank you David for having me here. I'm very privileged to be here. So thank you.